Here's an interesting problem that a student of mine had that I thought would make for a good video in case one of you encountered this same scenario. This is the finished product. It's a very simple table with just sales rep ID, date, product information, cost of goods, etc. The problem is the data doesn't come to us in this format. Instead, it comes to us in this format. Now, what you're seeing here is we have a header row, and each of these words is separated by a tab character. So one press of a left or right arrow moves between these headings. So the heading is tab delimited, but the data is dash delimited. And to compound matters, all transactions for a single sales rep are on a single row, separated by a pipe character. So we've got a tab delimited, dash delimited, pipe delimited text file. If I scroll out, now it makes it difficult to read, but that's not the point. But you can see all of sales rep one's transactions are on a single row. All sales rep two transactions, all of sales rep three transactions. These need to be split up into separate rows. So we need to split the header by tabs, split the rows by pipe, and then split whatever's left over by dash. It's only going to take about a half a dozen clicks to do this, but it does require some thought. Be sure to download the data file and the solution file for the link in the video description so you can follow along or just go look at the answers. So we're starting with a blank workbook. We'll go up to data, from text or CSV. Here's our file, we'll click on it and hit import. Remember we had three delimiters to deal with, tabs, pipes, and dashes. When Power Query gets confused like this, it defaults to comma. Comma is not the delimiter we want. So we've got to pick one of these. The one that seems the most normal at this point in time would be the tab that separates our headings. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to the tab delimiter. So you can see that's going to put all of our headings in separate columns, which is good, but all the data is going to be packed into a single column called date. Let's go down to transform data. So here we are in Power Query. And if we click on sales rep one's data, we can see down here in the preview that this would be the first record, this would be the second record, separated by this pipe character. Employee number two has three transactions, transaction one, transaction two, transaction three, separated by pipes, and sales rep number three has five transactions separated by pipes. Now, it would be a simple matter of just splitting this into separate columns using the pipe delimiter, but I can't split that data into the existing product, units, revenue, and cost of goods columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge all of the headings from date to cost of goods sold into a single column. That way I split everything together. Now you can't merge column headings into a single column heading. So we'll have to remove the header promotion step, perform the merge, split it all properly, and then reestablish our headers. Now we don't need the change type step, that's a bit premature. And we don't want our current header to be a header yet. We need it to be more like normal data. So we'll remove that promote header step. Now it's time to take the headings from column two to column six and merge them together. When we split the actual transactional data into separate columns, we're going to be using the delimiter of a dash that has a leading and trailing space. We need to merge our headings using that same delimiter so when we do our resplit, everything splits using the same set of rules. So we'll click on column two, shift click on column six, we'll go up to transform, merge columns. The separator we're going to use is a custom separator and this will be a space followed by a dash and another space. The name of the column is called merged. We'll leave it at that, it's just temporary. Hit okay. Let's stretch out this column. We now see everything in a single column except the sales rep ID. One of the side effects of having merged those cells into a single cell using a space dash space separator is that if we look at the prior step, the empty cells to the right of the second column, those have to be merged together separated by the delimiter. So when the merge column step executes, we end up with four dashes at the end of every record. We need to remove those. I'm going to click on the first sales reps transactions. And if we zoom in on this record, I'm going to click at the end of the data. This is everything that makes up the extraneous delimiters. So this is made up of a space, a dash, a space, and then repeated three more times. I'm going to highlight all of that information and copy it, control C. Now we'll go back out to this column right click, replace values, and I'll paste all of those extra spaces and dashes to the value to find field, and in the replace with field, leave it empty because I want to replace this with nothing. Hit okay, and now I've removed all those extraneous dashes and spaces. It's now time to split these individual rows into their separate single record-based rows. So to do this, I'll go up to split column by delimiter. I'm going to use a custom delimiter of a spacebar, pipe, spacebar, 
and I don't want to split this into separate columns, so I'll go to advanced options and tell it to split it into separate rows. I'll hit okay. And now every transaction is on a separate row with the associated sales rep ID repeated. I'm still not ready for data typing yet, so I'll remove the change type step. Now it's time to split this merged column into separate columns using the space dash space separator. So we'll go back up to split column by delimiter. This will be a custom delimiter of space dash space. Hit okay. Now we have the information in separate columns. Change type step is still a bit premature. Let's get rid of that because now we're going to use the first row as a header row and now we're ready for our data typing. I'll rename this query to fixed data. We'll go up to home and close and load this out into Excel as a proper table. And there we are, perfect tabular transactional data. So the takeaway here in this video is for dealing with multiple delimiters, and it's all about the strategy you employ and the order that you apply that strategy. Plus, you're able to see how to split delimited data into rows instead of columns. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments, and don't forget to download the sample file from the link in the video description. Thank you for watching, and remember at BCTI, the learning never stops.